Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. So today we will be looking at grade 11, November 2022, paper 1. We will just be focusing in on your accounting equation and fixed assets. Okay, so let's just get into it. So question 1, it's your accounting equation and fixed assets, 20 marks and 15 minutes. So it says complete the table provided to indicate the effect on the accounting equation for the following transactions. Assume that the bills, uh, the bank balance is favorable and the perpetual inventory system is in use for all transactions. Okay. Transaction A, one of the partners contributed a delivery vehicle as part of his investment in the partnership. Okay. A vehicle will be an asset. To the business and this is capital because one of the partners they contributed right which means our capital increased also our asset is going to de to increase and then we have a here our assets increase our assets increase just and then our owner's equity also increases and nothing happens to our liabilities and moving to B, it says credit note received from for, for damaged equipment returned. So we returned equipment. We know equipment is an asset. We returned equipment to the supplier and then a credit note was issued. So the credit note, it states that the creditor will debit or will credit, sorry, We'll credit our account. We'll credit our account in their books. So what this tells us is that we now owe them less. Because at first we were owing them more, but now since we returned the goods, we returned the equipment, we owe them less. Thus our liability will decrease and our asset will also decrease because we no longer have the equipment at our hand so our assets will decrease our liabilities will also decrease and nothing will happen to our owner's equity then number c so number c says repairs to the buildings were debited to the land and buildings account in error so this must be corrected so the repairs to buildings were debited to the land and buildings so this simply means that land and buildings were increased now we just have to decrease them and then we have to increase our owner's equity all right so we increase there, nothing happens to our liabilities, and then we decrease the land and buildings because we earnestly recorded the transaction into our land and buildings. But it is supposed to be an expense that affects our owner's equity. And then number two, it says Lulu Traders, the following information relates to the financial year and it 30 june 2022 so what is required is that we should calculate the missing figures denoted by roman figure one to roman figure four on the fixed asset note for 14 marks and then uh, given this information the fixed asset note carrying value on the first of july remember that we're calculating all of this at the year ended 31 the 30 june 2022 then we have the carrying value this is at the start and then this is at the end of the year so the first thing that we are doing we are checking roman figure one calculating the missing figures in the fixed asset note so roman figure one wants us to calculate the cost of land and buildings at the end okay so this is simple you take the cost at start plus what we have added we have added 760 so our working is just 360 oh uh, that's 3 million okay let's just change that to 760 plus 3 million 
three million seven sixty. Okay, and then second one, it says calculate uh, the carrying value on the first of July. So the carrying value is always the cost minus accumulated depreciation. So there you will have four twenty minus one hundred and sixty. Then you get that as two six zero two hundred and sixty. Twenty. Let's see if we got the numbers correct. Okay, we have the cost minus your accumulated depreciation such that you get your carrying value of two hundred and sixty at the start of the year. And then Roman figure three, we are supposed to calculate depreciation for the year for equipment. Okay, let's check what they say about depreciation. And then depreciation on equipment is calculated at 10% per annum on the diminishing balance. So this simply means that depreciation is calculated at the carrying at the carrying value using the diminishing balance method, all right? So how do we do this? We have calculated the depreciate the the carrying value amount to be two hundred and sixty. All right, but we have had additions of hundred and sixty, which means we have new. And we have old equipment. So we have to calculate depreciation for both the old and new because it is very important to acknowledge that this new equipment does did not depreciate for the whole year and we're supposed to check when it was purchased because these are additionals at cost and then we had the old equipment valued at 260,000 so let's start with the old because we we already know the carrying value so the carrying value is 260 let's say this is old equipment it's 260 we already know that the the carrying value amount it's 260 it's de it depreciates at 10 percent per annum okay times 10 percent let's see if we have had any disposals on equipment none okay so the carrying value is correct to the one we are using so it's 260,000 multiply by 10 percent okay that's twenty six thousand. all right and then this this calculate for the new equipment the new equipment it says the cost is 160 let's see when it was bought so that we can calculate the depreciation for the relevant months so new equipment was purchased on 1 october 2021 so if this helps you might just want to draw your timeline there here we go so you have your year starting on the 1st of july of may july august october november december january february march april may and then let's say june this may this june this april march feb Jan, all right so it was bought in october the first all right so it depreciates for one two three four five six seven eight nine months so it's nine over twelve times 160 it doesn't have any accumulated depreciation so we will use the cost just as it is so it's 9 over 12 times 160 that's um 12 it's supposed to be 12 thousand all right okay let's show you calculation 12 times 160 Oh, times 10% of course which is 12,000 I forgot to multiply by 10% yeah please forgive me 
but I knew that um <laughs> there was a zero that was supposed to be to be gone because if it was nine over twelve, it was supposed to be hundred and twenty thousand. So if you cancel the zero in that zero, you get twelve thousand. Right? And then the next one. Okay, so we are done with this one. We are supposed to calculate Roman figure four, with, which is disposals at carrying value. Okay, so with disposals, disposals at carrying value, if you could check your vehicles, we had a cost of 1 million 80 and 80,000, and then we had a carrying value of 800,000. All right, so from there, at, at the end, we have a cost of 720 thousand all right and then it says here on the last bullet a delivery vehicle was sold for hundred and twelve thousand cash on 1 march 2022 the cost price was 360 and accumulated depreciation on 1 july amounted to 216 okay so let's look for that information and just plug it in where we can so the cost price was 360 okay and it was uh, it was sold for cash at 112 which is filling in the information so that we can be able to work it out 112 for cash and then the cost price was 360 and then the accumulated depreciation at the start of the year was Two sixteen hundred. Okay, that's two sixteen. There's one hundred and twelve. Oh yes. Okay, selling price. And cost price. Accumulated depreciation. Okay. Uh, so, your selling price. When was it sold? On the 1st of March 2022 we're just working it out and just see where it takes us okay let's just remove these so that we can use our timeline once again okay so on the 1st of March this is our March 1st of March so it depreciated for one two three four five six seven eight months okay and are we told anything about depreciation on vehicles? Yes. Depreciation on vehicles is calculated at 15% per annum on cost. All right. So depreciation for eight months. Okay. So I'll just do the calculations here because now we have the amounts. That's 360 multiplied by 8 over 12 times 15% depreciation. Okay, so let's give me a second to calculate that. Times 8 over 12 multiplied by 15 percent. Okay. Which gives me 36,000. Right. This simply means our depreciation for the year is 36,000 for the year now we want the carrying value at the date we sold the vehicle all right so the carrying value is cost minus accumulated depreciation at date of sale at date of sale but here we were given the accumulated depreciation at the start of the year how do we get the accumulated depreciation at the date of sale you add your accumulated depreciation at start plus okay just say it start plus your depreciation for the year all right so what we are going to add here is 216 plus your 36,000, which will give us, let's see, it's 216 plus 36,000, which is 252,000, all right? That's your accumulated depreciation. And remember that your 
um you <coughs> you're sorry about that your carrying value is equal to your cost minus accumulated depreciation therefore your carrying value at date of sale is cost which is 360 minus um this which is 252 and i'm getting an answer of 108,000. okay so now we can just erase this all right and then what we did was we took 360 and then we subtracted the two amounts that we added depreciation for the year plus the accumulated depreciation and your carrying value at the date of sale is that and that's how we go about for the 20 marks oh i'm so sorry i forgot to add these two marks these two amounts which is thirty eight thousand. all right so that's how we go about for question one which talks about your fixed asset note and your accounting equation thank you so much for joining me today don't forget to subscribe like and drop a comment and anything that you would like to be helped with regarding accounting from me, it's a uh, goodbye. See you in the next video.